If you guys are having an issue opening up Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, after upgrading your MacBook um, to the Big Sur 11.2.2, this might be a solution for you as well. So just recently I installed Microsoft Office 2019 on this guy's computer. This is an Intel MacBook Pro, not the M1s. And uh, when I first installed it, he had Catalina. And it was, you know, I installed it, but he said it was bugging out when he got home. He couldn't uh, do certain things on the application. So I was all right, cool. I'll check it out. But when he gave it back to me, he had actually upgraded to 11.2.2. So what I noticed was every single time I tried to open the application, and I went ahead and uninstalled so you guys can see what I was seeing originally. And hopefully this will save you guys some time. So pretty much, long story short, it needs an update, okay? Just make sure that your security preferences, <clears throat> we'll go here first just so you guys can see, is set to App Store and Identify Developers. Just make sure that thing's on so you won't have any kind of hiccups when you're doing this, okay? But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the Finder real quick. Applications, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Microsoft Word. It bounces around like it's gonna open, and then you'll see the little notification up here on the top right-hand corner for your alerts and notifications and uh, badges and whatnot, right? So I was like, well, okay, what is it? You know, I was thinking maybe it's a system, you know, glitch or whatever, because he just recently updated. Since when I originally installed it, it installed just fine. But come to find out, after all this troubleshooting, it was actually just an update. So to make it easier, I'm gonna put this in the description for you guys, and I'll go ahead and try to open up a couple more applications. Just so you guys can see that none of them will open. It does the same thing, and you can see right here on the bottom, they just bounce around and they never open, okay? So just for the sake of the video, we are on 11.2.2 Big Sur. Go ahead and close that out. And this right here is what's going to be fixing your issues. So this is a update right here from Microsoft. I'll go ahead and install this. Oops. And this will actually not take very long to install. So this is going to be real time. I won't pause the video or anything. And hopefully this removes a whole bunch of people's headaches, man, because I'm telling you, this thing was driving me crazy. I was doing all kinds of uh, research. I was actually starting to Google things because I couldn't think of anything else of why it was giving me any kind of issue. So pretty much what it's doing now is going to be updating. So we'll just go ahead and click update here. And we'll let this thing start downloading. So as you can see, it's about 4.25 gigs, and depending on how fast your computer is, um, it might take a little longer to download and install, but once this thing's downloaded completely, it will go ahead and uh, update automatically all the software or all the applications, and you'll be able to use them just like you would any other time when it's actually working. I'm not sure why it's caused this, but whenever I installed it on Catalina, it worked just fine. It'll update shortly after you install by itself but for some reason on the Big Sur it will not auto update so this will fix your issue I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here um, while this is downloaded I'll be back when this is complete alright guys so this thing's finished updating so pretty much from here you can just go ahead and exit this thing out let's go ahead and try opening up these two applications again and everything should be working exactly how it's supposed to so give that a couple of seconds to load up. And as you can see, it is open. Just like that. We'll go ahead and open up PowerPoint. And then we'll do one that we have not already opened as well before I get out of here. Just like that. And then we'll go to Finder. If you guys are looking for the um, software, I do have that. I mean, you guys will have to message me and let me know what you guys are looking for. Um, I do have other software as well. So if you guys need like Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, um, Adobe CS6, Master Collection, I still have that. Uh, these softwares were removed um, because I was leaving links in the description of the video. So you guys will have to contact me via Instagram if you guys want those. But yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Pretty simple. So hopefully this, guy, uh, this little uh, update here helps you guys and saves you guys a lot of time and trouble on why you cannot open your applications for Microsoft. So with that being said, I am out. As always, subscribe, give my video a thumbs up, and leave me any comments if you guys need any help with anything, and I'll be more than happy to assist if I can. Thanks.